Hey guys, it's Hero. I'm going to attempt to demystify mercenary contract offers. Mercenary contract values are determined using a complex formula. I broke it down into a list of factors that make up the formula, so you can get a good idea of what's involved. No complicated maths here, just guidelines for understanding the contract values or offers. If there's enough interest, I can make a follow-up video with more details. There are two possible paths to determine the value of a mercenary contract. One way is a simplified formula using factors about you. The other is more complex and uses factors of the kingdom that you want to join as a mercenary. The simplified path is used when a kingdom reaches out to you and offers to buy your sword. These aren't factors to determine when or if they reach out, but the value they're willing to pay when they do. These factors are all determined by your status. The clan tier factor. The higher your clan tier, the more they'll offer. This makes sense. If you are renowned in the lands, you should expect more money for your sword. The gold factor. If you are rich, they will offer you more money than if you were poor. This is supply and demand. If you need money, they can get you cheaper. If you already have money, they need to make a higher offer to entice you. The last factor is relation to the leader's clan of the offering kingdom. If you have bad relations with that clan, they will offer you more money for you to overcome your issues with them. If you're friendly with them, they'll take advantage of your friendship and offer less. The more complex path is used when you ask a kingdom to join as a mercenary. Now they need to mostly look at themselves to determine if they want you. The only thing they consider from you is your clan tier. These are the factors. The power ratio is that balance of power you see on the diplomacy tab of the kingdom screen. Not all kingdoms are used, just the ones they are at war with. If that balance of power swings in their enemy's direction, They'll have a need for you and will pay more. Conversely, if they're dominating, they need you less and won't offer much. Next is the, as the game puts it, power ratio to the kingdoms they are paying tribute to. Not receiving, just paying. The idea here is that they may consider breaking the peace to stop paying. And if hiring you gives them enough confidence, they may do just that. The clan count factor considers the number of clans they already have. If there are fewer clans, they will need your help and will offer more. If they have a lot of clans, they may not think they need you, and a lower offer will show that. The next factor I refer to as weighted clan count. This is the kingdom realizing that smaller clans with less money aren't as effective as larger, richer clans. This is taken into account. If the kingdom is made up of smaller clans, they will need you more and be willing to pay more. The fief factor is the number of fiefs they have, but weighted double if those fiefs are towns. If the number of fiefs is low, this factor will be higher. So fewer fiefs mean they'll be willing to pay more. The gold per clan factor represents the average gold per clan. This turns out to be a matter of whether or not they'll be able to pay the contract. If they're rich, they can pay more. If the clans are poor, they can't afford a large contract. This doesn't conflict with the weighted clan count factor. They may be poor and still need you. The clan tier factor is the same as the other path. The more renowned you are in the lands, the more money you'll be offered. And last, the other mercenaries factor is the total number of other mercenary clans they are paying. This factor is used in the fiefs, power ratio, and power ratio to tribute paid kingdoms calculations. The more mercenary clans they have, the less need they'll have for you and the less money they will offer you. As I mentioned before, I can do a follow-up video where I take a deep dive into the numbers and you can min-max the offers. But for now, this should give you enough information to understand why the contract was the amount offered. 
This can also be used to determine which side of a war will offer you more to fight for them. That's it. If I've missed anything, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace out.